people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome to another FNAF merchandise review and unboxing video. And as you can see, this is going to be a big one. Today, we're going to be taking a look at all of U2's FNAF Ruin figures, including Ruin Eclipse, Roxy, the Mexus Entity, Monty, and the Mimic! They did also release plushies of some of the Ruin figures. I've already done a review video on them on my second channel. I'll leave that link down below. But the U2's Ruin Wave has probably one of the most interesting histories in regards to FNAF U2's merchandise. Originally, the set wasn't supposed to include the Mimic and instead it was going to be these four figures alongside Ruined Chica. However, when U2's revealed the Ruined Chica figure, not a lot of people liked it, so they actually delayed that figure indefinitely at the time, weren't going to include it in the Wave's release, and we actually wouldn't see that figure released until April of 2024, so it got delayed quite a lot. And then around that Chica release, we also got a Ruined Pin set. Both of those I do not have on me right now because they just just released, but due to community demands as well as seemingly making up for Chica not being in the wave, U2's did end up including the Mimic from Ruin, though originally he too also had quite a bit of criticism for his early designs. Luckily U2's was very open-minded to community feedback, realized a lot of people want this Mimic figure, so Thankfully, we got a fantastic Mimic design that we're going to be taking a look at pretty soon. But eventually, this wave finally released in November of 2023, and again, as per U2's fashion, I've only just now gotten all these figures in. So let's not waste any more time, and let's start off this video by taking a look at, you know what, let's start off with the Mimic. He was actually the final Ruin figure that I got in, so I haven't actually taken him out of his box yet. But speaking of the box, the brand new design for the Ruin figure's boxes is absolutely peak, just like the Mimic himself. Really love the aesthetic for this one. As per usual, let's take off the sleeve number 35. Some quotes for the Mimic break off limbs and heads, pile them up. That's actually a quote from one of the Tales books. I want to say one of the epilogues involving the Mimic, those are the order that he is given uh, down at the FNAF 6 pizzeria. The Mimic is given these orders to break off the limbs and the heads of the staff bots, but instead of doing that, he actually breaks off the heads and limbs of all the workers down there. And then on the back, we've got Mimic uh, next to a Monty ride, it seems like, as well as a generator. Not only could a Mimic fit into any costume, it was designed to observe the other routines and then mimic them. And then we've got some more glorious art of the Mimic himself. Let's now crack open into this box. The inside quote says deactivate remaining Mimic Endos. And just like the Help Wanted boxes that we looked at earlier on the background, you can see the logo for Security Breach Ruin. And my goodness, you twos, you deserve a massive, massive round of applause. This guy is incredible. Comparing this final design of the figure to the concept art, I am so so happy they listen to the fans because no one knows these characters no one appreciates these characters as much as the fans he's even doing the mimic arm curl imagine a tiger rock plushie just right there yeah this figure is just spot on to the mimic and honestly the proportions line up pretty well with the character model as well so this is pretty much just holding like the Mimic in my hands. I'm, I'm worried he's gonna mimic me and start doing FNAF news videos. There's really not much to say about this figure besides, <laughs> like, they've even got his cloth! His hair cloth! Absolutely insane. Yeah, there's not much to say about this figure besides, <laughs> thank you, YouTubes. Like, this is an absolutely fantastic, fantastic figure. And it's really surreal that he wasn't even supposed to be in this wave originally. So because of that and how just perfect his final design is. It's really a miracle that we have this figure today. But now let's move on to Ruined Roxy, and I'm not going to be showing off the boxes and sleeves for all of the figures just because they're going to look exactly the same. But on the back of the box, we've got Nobody Likes a Loser. Poor Roxanne in the dark right there. And yeah, already from these box arts, we can see just how peak this figure is going to be as well. I'm the best! And I honestly think now would be a perfect time to say that this Ruin Wave might be my favorite U2's wave, period. As much as I appreciate a company finally doing, like, the Withered's merchandise a couple months ago, and as amazing as those figures look, you know, don't get me wrong, those figures look fantastic. I don't know, I feel like there's just a lot more detail with these Ruin characters compared to those Withered's. Again, they still look fantastic, but these Ruin figures are, like, spot on. Not only do they have incredible designs, but they also have, like, pretty realistic and oh, like look at that hair man 
that's insane. Uh, pretty realistic and accurate proportions to what the shat or the ruined characters actually look like. But anyways, long intro out of the way. This is ruined Roxanne. You may notice that she comes with a stand. You can stand her up, but you can also take off the stand if you don't want to have it. But keep in mind, if you wobble her a little bit, she's going to fall over. You've even got her tail wire right here. <laughs> Come on, like that is absolutely insane. The details with the endo and all of the ripped parts of her costume as well as this mask right here it's crazy absolutely crazy <laughs> my, my voice is breaking just by how amazing these guys are you can see how the endo meets the mask as well and all the tears right here to, to rip off the mask the face of the mask oh my god it just the more i look at this figure the more i absolutely absolutely love it so don't be expecting many complaints if any in this video because i absolutely love love this wave i'm gonna keep saying it this wave is fantastic now something i just thought of actually was that this ruined roxanne figure has like her typical ruined state appearance right but the plushie they released of ruined roxanne has her in her ar ruined state so i'm quite curious why they actually decided to go for the typical ruined appearance with the figure but then the ar appearance with the plushie it's just I guess that's one of my only gripes with this wave is that inconsistency right there. I do much prefer this design. I said even in the plushie review that I think they just used the AR version for the plushie just so they could reuse the Roxanne plushie base. But it's a minor nitpick. I guess you get the best of both worlds with this wave. You get the AR version and the traditional ruin design. So I guess I won't complain about it too much. Just a weird inconsistency. But let's move on now to Ruined Monty, who's probably my least favorite figure of the wave. Not because he's necessarily bad, just because... <sighs> It's Ruined Monty. Does anyone really care for Ruined Monty? I feel like I would have much preferred, like, a Cassie U2s, you know? Or even a Gregory U2s. Uh, they also haven't done Vanessa, so... I, what I'm trying to say is, why did we get the wet floorbot U2s before Gregory or Vanessa? Did we really need a second U2s Vanny? Come on now. That's more of a gripe with Wave 2 of the Security Breach U2s than the Ruin Wave, but Ruin Monty's fine, I guess. I won't complain. He's neat. He's funny. He's a goofy looking guy. He's a goofy little... Hey, little guy! This is some nice art, though. I do love all of the art for this wave. Again, probably some of the best they've done for FNAF. That, is that is that crazy to say? This is a fantastic wave. Have I said that enough this video? You're in trouble now! Is that a Monty quote? I don't remember him ever saying that, but I mean, again, I'm not the biggest Monty fan. He's fine, I guess. And again, this figure is pretty funny just because you can't really see it from this angle, but he's just lying down on the floor because he's got, he's got no legs, Lamau. But yeah, I don't know. It's a fine figure. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad we got it. I would have just much preferred a Cassie figure. Like the entire wave, it's got good attention to detail. Because there is no suit of Monty that's that's remaining for Ruin Monty, it doesn't have that much detail that I'm like gawking over like, oh my god, this detail's fantastic. But it's still got pretty good detailing. Monty fans, I know you're out there. Don't hate me for this, but did we really need this figure besides I'm um, besides it just looking funny? <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Oh, but now it's peak time, the Mexus Entity. Dude's absolutely goaded. Let's crack into him. Look at that art, dude. Look at that art. No quote on the side. I wonder if there's going to be a quote on the inside of the sleeve. There's my boy. Take a look. No, there is not. Okay, interesting. I mean, again, I guess it makes sense because he doesn't talk, but it would have been nice to have maybe some quotes from Helpy talking about the Mexus Entity. It's a minor nitpick for such a fantastic figure as I'm gonna get into pretty shortly. But I, it, I don't know, it's just a little sad when they don't have quotes. I like having the quotes, they're fun. But again, it is hard to be mad when this figure goes as hard as it does. Look at my boy! Oh my god, you twos, you cooked! Such a fantastic idea to have him coming out of all of the pixels. They've even got pixels around like his arms and body. Reaching out too, I'll shake your hand, bro. Thank you so much for being such an incredible figure. It's really U2's figures like this where they're in such a dynamic, not even pose, but just like scenario even, where again, he's coming out of the pixels. He's not just there. They actually made him an interesting figure. Those are easily my favorite types of U2's figures where it's not just the guys there. They actually made him look cool and he deserves it because he is such a cool character and I'm so happy he is such a cool U2's figure. I feel bad for just 
pulling out the figures and being, whoa, look at how cool this is, but... I mean, come on, it's just really cool. Dude's an absolute chat. But saving, I think, the fan favorite for last, we have Ruined Eclipse. Warning, warning, child in danger, safety mode activate. And then he's got Naughty Naughty, it's time for your nap. But as you can see on the box, he actually is in the play area, which in one of my past videos, I think it was a news video, uh, instead of calling it the daycare, I called it play care which is the wrong game. But for the quote on the inside, we have reboot, reboot. We need to be whole. I actually quite like the attention to detail here. They have a sun quote, they have a moon quote, and then they have an eclipse quote. But it's just nice that technically each side of the three sides of the daycare attendant each got a quote. Do you get what I'm trying to say here? But anyways, here's the figure itself. Now, the interesting thing about Eclipse is that, as you can see, they come with a gigantic checkered board pattern base, which none of the other figures actually do. When they first revealed this figure, I thought it would be the case where all of the Ruin figures had this and you could line them all up. Similar to what they did with, I think it was the Picnic DDLC figures, where they each had at the bottom of their figures little picnic sections that you could connect together and form a giant scene. I'm not sure if they planned that and just didn't do it for the rest of the figures or just thought it looked cool for Eclipse. They just wanted to give him a different base than the regular U2's base. But as always, attention to detail absolutely phenomenal he's missing his leg over here all of the scratches and tears in the suit the uh, the scratches and, and scrapped parts of the of the sun's rays probably one of the most detailed of the set so absolutely fantastic that a fan favorite like eclipse got such again a fantastic figure but that is a look at every single u2's fnaf ruin figure Again, they've got Ruin Chica that just released, a pin set that just released. So I don't have those on me right now, but I will likely order them and make another follow-up video, probably like a YouTube short just showing off all of the Ruin products that they've released. And then they did also release some plushies, but again, that review is already up on the second channel that's linked down below. I wish I had more to say besides taking the figures out of their boxes and saying, this looks cool, I like this, the attention's fantastic, let's now move on. But really, like, what else is there to say? This is easily, in my opinion, U2's best FNAF wave. I know the Withered wave is just released, and that looks fantastic as well. Again, the movie wave looks fantastic. The Help Wanted wave that we just reviewed is fantastic as well. But this, to me, is honestly just, like, peak FNAF U2's. Like, I'm not sure how they can top this. The detailing, the, like, proportions are somehow super accurate to the models. It honestly just looks like they took the characters from the games, scaled them down a bit, and these are their figures. Like, I'm baffled by how good these figures look. But that is going to do it for today's FNAF merchandise review and unboxing video. Let me know what are your thoughts on the U2's Ruin figures in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.